In a quiet, forgotten corner of the town, an old abandoned movie theater stood as a relic of the past. Its marquee had long lost its neon glow, and the red velvet seats lay in disrepair. But the most chilling legend of all was the ghostly presence of Mr. Popcorn. The old movie theater loomed like a forgotten relic in the quiet corner of the town. Its marquee had long lost its neon glow, and the once magnificent red velvet seats lay in disrepair. It had been decades since anyone set foot in the place, except for a handful of daredevils and ghost hunters. But the most chilling legend of all was the ghostly presence of Mr. Popcorn. The tale began years ago when the theatre was in its heyday. Mr. Popcorn, the eccentric owner, was known for his outlandish personality. He was a lanky man with wild, unruly hair and a never-ending smile. His obsession, however, was his prized popcorn machine, which he claimed was magic. He would never reveal the secret ingredient, insisting that it was the source of the theatre's success. One fateful evening, during the final screening of a classic film, the theatre fell into darkness. The audience, in their red velvet seats, watched in eerie silence as the projector stopped and the room plunged into pitch-black obscurity. When the lights returned, Mr. Popcorn was gone, vanished without a trace, leaving behind only the enigmatic popcorn machine still spinning kernels in eerie solitude. The legend of Mr. Popcorn began to circulate around town. People whispered about his eerie disappearance and his eerie obsession with the popcorn machine. Some believed he was taken by supernatural forces, while others suspected he had willingly made a deal with the devil to ensure the theatre's success. Maggie, a young woman with a fascination for the supernatural, couldn't resist the allure of the abandoned theatre. She'd heard the tales of Mr. Pop Corn, and her curiosity drew her in. Armed with her camera, a flashlight, and her sense of adventure, she ventured into the decaying building. The air grew cold as she crossed the threshold, and the sound of popcorn popping filled the space. It was an unsettling symphony that echoed through the theatre's empty halls. The popcorn machine, covered in dust and cobwebs, was operating by itself. Kernels popped and tumbled into the collection bin with eerie regularity, as if powered by unseen hands. Maggie's camera clicked, capturing the eerie scene before her. But as she approached the machine, the atmosphere seemed to change. Shadows moved in the corners of the room, and whispers echoed through the air like ghostly voices from a forgotten time. What is this place? Maggie muttered to herself, her voice a mere whisper amidst the otherworldly sounds. The echoes didn't answer, and she couldn't shake the feeling that she was being watched. She swept her flashlight across the room, illuminating old posters and tattered red velvet seats. Each shadow seemed to dance with a life of its own, and Maggie felt a cold shiver running down her spine. As she inched closer to the popcorn machine, the popping grew louder, almost deafening. The kernels spewed out like a frenzied storm. A voice barely discernible whispered from the machine's depths, Join us, Maggie. Enjoy the popcorn. It was a voice that seemed to emanate from beyond the realm of the living. Maggie hesitated, her fingers trembling, her camera lens trained on the machine. Who are you? she managed to utter, her voice quivering. The machine remained silent, its eerie dance of popping kernels unabated. The voice seemed to taunt her from within the infernal contraption, and Maggie couldn't tear her gaze away. The room seemed to close in on her, as if the very walls conspired to keep her there, forever entwined with the supernatural presence that resided within the popcorn machine. Fear clawed at her heart as Maggie realized that she was no longer in control. Something ancient and malevolent held sway over the theater. The popcorn machine, once a mundane relic, had become an instrument of horror, and Maggie was its unwitting victim. In that eerie silence, as the ghostly whispers of Mr. Popcorn and the shadows of the theater closed in around her, Maggie knew that her adventure had taken a nightmarish turn. Maggie stood frozen her flashlight trembling in her grip as the theatre seemed to come alive with the whispers of invisible voices. The faint echoes of laughter and conversation seemed to come from all directions, and shadowy figures danced in her peripheral vision, casting eerie silhouettes on the crumbling walls. She couldn't explain it, 
but it was as if the very essence of the theatre had absorbed the echoes of countless past screenings. The spirits of long-gone patrons were reliving their memories, or perhaps they were mocking the intruder who had dared to trespass. The ghostly laughter grew louder, and Maggie could swear she saw flickering images in her flashlight beam. It was as if scenes from the past were playing out in an eerie, silent movie that only she could witness. Spectral ushers guided invisible guests to their seats, and translucent lovers held hands in the back row, their laughter echoing through the decades. Maggie's heart raced, her breath visible in the chill of the theatre's haunted air. She ventured deeper into the heart of the old building, guided by the ghostly echoes. In the theatre's projection room, she saw a flickering image on the wall, a spectral projection of Mr. Popcorn himself. He was there, tending to the popcorn machine, his back hunched as if he was still alive, still devoted to his peculiar craft. His spectral form cast an eerie, elongated shadow on the wall, and his eyes were dark, lifeless voids. His lips curled into a chilling smile, and Maggie felt a shiver race down her spine. Who are you? Maggie whispered, her voice quivering. The room seemed to grow even colder, and the image of Mr. Popcorn on the wall didn't respond. He continued his ghostly duties with an unsettling dedication, as if eternally trapped in his final moments. Suddenly, as Maggie stared at the projection, the image of Mr. Popcorn turned to face her, his spectral eyes locked onto hers, and he whispered in a hollow, echoing voice, I never left, Maggie. I'm always here tending to my popcorn machine, ensuring the success of this theater. Maggie took a step back, her flashlight trembling. This can't be real, she mumbled to herself, but the sinister smile on the spectral Mr. Popcorn's face persisted. As she inched away from the projection room, Mr. Popcorn's image began to flicker and fade, retreating into the walls. The eerie laughter and whispers that had been her constant companions began to diminish, and the theatre returned to a state of eerie silence. Maggie knew she had witnessed something beyond the realm of the living, something that defied explanation. She was now entwined in a sinister dance with the ghost of Mr. Popcorn, and she couldn't escape the creeping dread that gripped her. The chilling encounter in the projection room was just the beginning of her terrifying journey into the depths of the theatre's haunted past. Maggie retreated from the projection room, her mind reeling from the ghostly encounter with Mr. Popcorn, the haunted theatre with its echoes of past patrons and the spectral projection had become an otherworldly nightmare. Yet, her determination to uncover the truth remained steadfast. She navigated the labyrinthine corridors of the decaying theatre, her footsteps echoing in the emptiness. The chilling atmosphere pressed upon her like a weighty hand on her chest. The whispers and laughter of unseen entities continued to haunt her every step, growing more malevolent as she delved deeper into the heart of the building. As Maggie explored further, she stumbled upon a hidden door. The door was slightly ajar, as if beckoning her into the unknown. She cautiously pushed it open, revealing a small, candle-lit chamber. In the centre of the room, an ancient book lay open, its pages filled with arcane symbols and cryptic incantations. The sinister secret was laid bare before her eyes. Maggie realised that Mr. Popcorn had been far more than an eccentric owner. He had been a practitioner of dark magic, using the enchanted popcorn machine as a conduit to a supernatural realm. The kernels he used were not ordinary. They were infused with something otherworldly, a power that had fueled the success of the theatre. The room reeked of ancient rituals and the lingering presence of Mr. Popcorn. The sinister energy within it seemed to draw her in, as if she were being invited to partake in the same dark secrets that had ensnared him. With trembling hands, Maggie snapped pictures of the eerie symbols and the arcane text, documenting the sinister knowledge that had been hidden for decades. The knowledge seemed to pulse with a malevolent life of its own, and she couldn't shake the feeling that she was being watched. As she turned to leave the room, the door slammed shut behind her with a deafening thud. Panic surged through her, and she rushed to open it, but it wouldn't budge. Shadows danced on the walls, coalescing into a nightmarish forms. The whispers of unseen entities grew louder, their voices a cacophony of torment. Join us, Maggie. 
Become one with the power of the popcorn. Maggie's heart pounded in her chest as she realized that the sinister secret of the theater was not content to remain hidden. It sought to ensnare her, to draw her into the darkness that had claimed Mr. Popcorn. Desperation gripped her, and she fought with all her might to force the door open. The malevolent forces within the room seemed to resist, but with a final, desperate push, the door relented, swinging open to reveal the dimly lit corridor beyond. As she stumbled out of the room, the whispers and shadows receded, retreating back into the sinister chamber. Maggie had escaped the clutches of the theatre's haunted secrets, but the knowledge she had uncovered weighed heavily on her. The sinister secret was a dark legacy, and Maggie now held the key to unravelling its mysteries. Yet she couldn't shake the feeling that the malevolent forces within the theatre would stop at nothing to keep their secrets hidden, and she was their next target. Maggie emerged from the sinister chamber, her heart still racing from the terrifying encounter with the malevolent forces that lurked within the theatre. The oppressive atmosphere seemed to close in around her, and the echoes of the sinister whispers still reverberated in her ears. The shadows danced ominously, and Maggie felt as if the very walls were conspiring to keep her imprisoned. As she staggered back into the dimly lit corridor, the ghostly laughter and whispers of the unseen entities seemed to pursue her, growing louder and more deranged. She knew she had to escape the theatre, but the theatre had other plans. The walls seemed to shift and twist, creating an ever-changing maze that disoriented her at every turn. The ceiling appeared to descend, pressing down on her as if trying to smother her. Maggie's flashlight flickered and sputtered, casting eerie, elongated shadows that seemed to reach out for her. Desperation overtook her, and she pushed forward, retracing her steps as best as she could. The theatre's malevolent presence seemed to relish in her fear, amplifying the sense of impending doom. It was as if the very building itself had come to life, determined to keep her within its sinister grasp. The sinister chamber with its arcane symbols and the knowledge of Mr. Popcorn's dark magic haunted her. She couldn't shake the feeling that the malevolent forces she had encountered sought to consume her, to draw her into their malefic web of terror. Finally, after what felt like an eternity, Maggie stumbled upon the theatre's entrance. Gasping for breath, she rushed through the doors and out into the blinding sunlight. The world outside was a stark contrast to the malevolent darkness that had consumed the theatre. Maggie looked back at the menacing structure, her heart still pounding. The theatre stood like a malevolent sentinel, its facade concealing the chilling secrets within. She knew she had been in the presence of something beyond the realm of the living, something that defied explanation. The chilling echoes of the theatre's sinister secrets and the malevolent forces that resided within lingered in her mind. She had escaped the theatre's clutches, but she couldn't shake the feeling that something had followed her out into the world, something that couldn't be captured on camera or explained by rational thought. The haunting of Mr. Popcorn lived on, forever etched in the annals of the town's most chilling legends. Maggie's encounter with the sinister secrets of the theatre had left an indelible mark, and the malevolent forces that lurked within continued to seek out those who dared to venture inside. As she walked away from the theatre, Maggie knew that the sinister secrets would forever haunt her dreams, and that the malevolent forces within would stop at nothing to protect their dark legacy. The malefic grip of Mr. Popcorn and the haunted theatre would continue to reach out, even beyond the theatre's crumbling walls, in search of new victims to ensnare. Maggie, having escaped the malevolent grasp of the haunted theatre, walked away from the decaying structure, her mind filled with haunting memories. The chilling secrets she had uncovered, the sinister whispers, and the spectral apparition of Mr. Popcorn continued to haunt her thoughts. She had shared her findings with the world, warning them about the supernatural darkness that lurked within the old movie theatre. But even though she had physically left the theatre behind, she couldn't shake the feeling that the malevolent forces she had encountered weren't confined to the building. They had followed her, 
their presence lingering in the periphery of her existence. Nights were the worst. In the stillness of her bedroom, she could hear the faint echoes of ghostly laughter and sinister whispers. Shadows danced on her walls, forming grotesque shapes and eerie figures. Maggie would awaken in a cold sweat, her heart pounding, her mind tormented by the malevolent secrets she had uncovered. She attempted to research the history of the theatre, hoping to find answers that might offer some solace. Yet, the more she delved into the sinister past of Mr. Popcorn and the theatre, the more the malevolent forces seemed to close in around her. The whispers grew louder, their voices filled with malice. They seemed to taunt her, their words carrying threats and dark promises. It was as if the malevolent forces were determined to ensnare her, to make her a part of their sinister web. Maggie knew that she had to confront the malevolent forces that continued to haunt her. She couldn't let the secrets of the theatre consume her, as they had consumed Mr. Popcorn. She decided to return to the theatre, to face the darkness head-on. As she approached the theatre once more, a sense of foreboding filled the air. The building stood as a malevolent sentinel, its façade concealing the chilling secrets that lurked within. The ghostly laughter and whispers that had tormented her echoed in the wind, and shadows danced in the corners of her vision. Maggie pushed open the theatre's doors, her heart pounding with trepidation. She knew that she had to uncover the truth, to confront the malevolent forces that sought to ensnare her. She ventured into the darkness, armed with nothing but her determination and the knowledge of the sinister secrets that had eluded her for so long. The theatre's interior was as foreboding as ever, its atmosphere heavy with malevolence. The sinister chamber, with its arcane symbols and the knowledge of Mr. Popcorn's dark magic, awaited her return. Maggie had to decipher the secrets and confront the malevolent forces that had tormented her. With the malevolent presence vanquished, Maggie left the theatre. The weight of its sinister secrets lifted from her shoulders. The once oppressive atmosphere had dissipated, replaced by a sense of relief and liberation. As she walked away from the old, decaying building, the shadows that had once danced malevolently in its corridors now lay still. The haunting had come to an end, and Maggie had confronted the malevolent forces that had tormented her. The sinister secrets of Mr. Popcorn and the theatre had been exposed, their darkness laid bare for all to see. The echoes of the chilling whispers and ghostly laughter that had plagued her were silenced. As she emerged into the daylight, Maggie felt a sense of closure. The sinister secrets that had ensnared Mr. Popcorn and the theatre were no longer a source of torment. The malefic grip of the haunted theatre had been broken, and its malevolent forces had retreated into the shadows, defeated by her unwavering determination and courage. Maggie had not only unravelled the mysteries that had haunted the theatre, but had also freed herself from the malevolent grip of the past. She had faced the darkness head-on and emerged victorious, a beacon of light in a place that had been shrouded in darkness for far too long. The town, once plagued by the chilling legend of Mr. Popcorn and the haunted theatre, could now rest in peace. The malevolent forces that had once tormented those who ventured into the decaying building were no more. The legacy of fear and whispers had been replaced by the memory of a brave woman who had dared to confront the unknown. As Maggie continued on her journey, she carried with her the knowledge that the haunting had come to an end, the sinister secrets had been unveiled, and the malevolent forces had been banished. The legend of Mr. Popcorn and the haunted theatre would live on. But now, it was a story of courage and triumph over the darkness. And so the haunting of Mr. Popcorn, the chilling secrets of the theatre, and the malevolent forces that had once lurked within its walls were now a part of the town's history, a testament to the power of one woman's determination to confront the unknown and emerge victorious. As the days passed, the town's residents felt a newfound sense of peace and safety. The decaying theatre remained as a relic of the past, but it was no longer a source of fear and whispers. Instead, it stood as a reminder of the bravery of Maggie, the woman who had uncovered the sinister secrets and banished the malevolent forces. The legend of Mr. Popcorn and the haunted theatre had finally come to an end, leaving behind a legacy of courage and the triumph of light over darkness. The town, once shrouded in fear, 
could now look to the future with hope and a renewed sense of security.